I drop 10 wannabe influencers in a house for a week and only one of them is gonna win $25,000. And you watching right now are gonna help decide who wins. But more on that later. I'm Brianna Chicken Fry. Barstool wanted me to create my own content house, but content houses are lame. Everyone in the house pretends to like each other when they all secretly hate each other, but that's the juicy stuff, and that's what I wanna see. So I decided to create my own reality show. I interview thousands of psychopaths. I flew to LA and we got a sick house. I obviously couldn't do the show without my best friend, Grace O'Malley, and my BFF, Josh Richards. This is Project Verified. Let's do this. Welcome to Project Verified. So there will be a twist. You guys are gonna have to be picking amongst yourselves the one person you guys like the least and are gonna be sending home. <laughs> oh my God. No fucking way. <laughs> it's fucked up. These 10 people showed up to the house as strangers. We had them say one line to describe themselves in front of everyone. They had no idea their first impression would lead to one of them going home. My name's Connor Fallon, represent St. Louis, Missouri. I'm here to fuck bitches and get money. Hey, I'm Liz, I'm 22, and I'm here because I'm the perfect combo of hot and crazy. My name's Alexi, I'm 23 years old. I'm just a coastal elite, chronically online, post-woke podcaster and socialite. Hey, what's going on? I'm Noah, I'm 26, and I'm here to get that fucking money, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lila Gibney, I'm 24 years old, and I'm kind of known for like going out, being unhinged, and doing the most crazy shit. So I'm here to stay sexy and win some cash. My name is Brad Kraut, I'm 22 years old, and I'm here to motivate this crew. We're about to get through this. We're about to give it everything. We are all here for a reason. We're all here for a purpose. Let's go show them why. We were all here. We were all picked for a reason and for a purpose. And we're about to show everyone why we were selected to be on this show. We are all here for a reason. Let's go show them why. Woo! Yeah, so you guys all just met and now you got to figure out which one's going to be taking those suitcases that they brought okay. and uh, leave. Everybody's voting, you can't vote for yourself, and you're gonna be texting in your submissions. And let's figure out who's getting eliminated from the show. Everybody has their votes in. The first person eliminated from Project Verified is... Alexi, I'm sorry, but you've been voted off the show. Cool. This house looks really tacky, so I'm just gonna find a nice hotel, and I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Oh, <laughs> shit. Bye, Alexi. I kind of saw this coming. I wasn't really that excited to be here. Like, I've never seen a reality TV show. I don't know what Barstool is. She's wearing all black. It was her funeral. I mean, she had to go. Someone had to go. She didn't really seem like competition. I thought it was a bad move. I took one look, and I knew she was going to be a narc and backstab us. All right, so the nine of them have made it past the driveway. Woo! Let's go inside. Let's fucking go. Seriously. Welcome to the Project Verified house. All made it in. What do you guys think of the house so far? Shit. Sorry, sorry, am I late? Ooh. Sorry, I thought this was tomorrow. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> what I missed? <laughs> Alexi's gone. Oh, good. All right, guys, so you officially made it in the house, and today you're gonna be competing in a series of challenges for your spot in a bedroom up there. So if you win a challenge, you get a bed, if you don't win, you have to continue with the challenges. <laughs> right. So you guys all have your suitcases here with you. The first person to grab their left shoe, a toothbrush, and a bathing suit wins the first challenge. Go. Oh, you ain't got oh we already got a bag open. <laughs> Shit. Come on. Oh, you go, Brad. Left shoe, toothbrush, and a bathing suit. First person to have it in their hand. Oh, on her way. Congratulations. You can grab your stuff, head up, and go pick a room. Let's go, baby. Challenge one winner. Woo! What's up, Cloud fam? I'm like the most motivated guy of all time. Like, fucking sick ass looks. The funniest guy of all time. Look at me. Honestly, take a look at me. I was born to be famous. Born to be in the spotlight. I am here to win the 25K. I think this competition is going to be easy. I'm going to blow through it. As you're already seeing, I just won the first challenge. The balcony? Oh, fuck yeah. And I already know Liz is gonna be sleeping right there too, so. Liz is a fucking rocket. She is a smoke show. She is one girl that I'm trying to make really good friends with, if you know what I mean. Oh, wait, holy shit. Look at this shit. Oh, it's a double room. Fuck, I might be able to make alliances in a double room. Oh, yeah, yep. Me and Noah, Brad, right here. This is prime time. 
All right, guys, we got Connor upstairs right now picking out a room. We have eight people competing. Let's get him in the pool. <laughs> Don't worry, because we do have a lifeguard on duty. There she is. There's no running at the pool. You didn't have to run. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so there's one Takis coin at the bottom of the pool. The first person to grab it and come up in the surface wins a bed in the house tonight. Go! Oh, oh. Oh. She literally go. Why are they all swimming down there? I hope yeah, I don't have to save anyone. Is. Like everyone was like searching around and I went down. I don't know if there's Puerto Rico in the water, but I just like opened my eyes, felt the like cool type of coin, and it's a fucking GoPro camera. That's a camera, man. <laughs> Anybody drowning yet? I can't swim at all, so I really didn't stand a chance. Whoa! Is it the white? Is it, wait, is it the white one? Oh, what is that fucking Chuck E. Cheese? Whoa! Yeah, all right. Why we in that Chuck E. Cheese? Oh my god, it is bloody. What do we got? What do we got? Do you have one? I think I got it. Let me see. <laughs> winner! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Come on! We have a bed in the house. Let's go, brother. Don't touch me. It's too wet, though. Let's go get dry and get a fucking room. I create motivational, inspirational content, waking up every day with a fucking purpose, with a fucking drive. It's to truly inspire and motivate millions of people. I'm just excited to meet new people and just bring my positive energy to them and hopefully it, it like goes on to them. Let's fucking go, Connor! Was that bread? Yep. Ah! Let's go. Yeah, let's, fuck, let's run this shit. Let's, let's fucking, fucking run go. this shit. The second I saw Bradley, I knew he was gonna be one of my boys. Connor, it's my fucking dog. I'm rooming with him. Oh, dude, look at this shirt. Oh, dude! That's what I'm perfect. saying, I, dude. All right, this this can't be real. This could not be real. That is fucking awesome. Yo, do you wear this when you DJ? We might have to do a jersey swap. <laughs> dude, you look electric in that. Dude, I I feel electric in it. I'm like, I want to check myself out. We got a full length mirror in it. Dude, we look like fucking problems with this. Yeah. <laughs> Brad just won. He's upstairs grabbing his bed. So let's get another winner. We got everyone up on the balcony. <laughs> Everyone's gonna have a beanbag. The closest one to the center of the target is gonna win themselves a place in the house. You guys can decide who goes first. Well, shit, ladies used to be boys first. <laughs> I got Noah. Fuck, dude. <laughs> I was gonna say that too. All right, he said Noah. Let's go with the. Uh, let's I mean, go with Hot Liz. I'm feeling Dark, Hot yeah, Liz Dark right course, now. Dark Horse could be I'm feeling Hot Liz. I think Hot Liz is taking it. All right, Lila, you can throw whenever you're ready. Oh, oh yes. hey. Yeah. Honestly, I slayed. You can throw whenever. Oh! oh! Took a little bit of a bounce. We got Grace running up to measure. Clear. Clear? I don't know. Hot Liz, it's your turn. Hot Liz. Fuck me. Oh, pretty bad, Stop. Liz. Yeah, was not looking hot. All right, Blake, you're up. <laughs> Aaliyah, you're up. There she goes. It's a nice looking throw. Oh, not the worst. Liz is still the worst. You guys need a second opinion? Uh, I think we can clearly actually see the bean bags. Yeah, thanks, and Grace. How so. far they are. All right, we still got Lila in the lead. We have Brand Flakes up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right, Lila's still winning. Pressure's on. Last throw of the game. Oh. And Lila's the winner. Oh. Lila, Congratulations, Lila. Woo. All right, Lila. Yes. The rest of you. We're gonna move on to the next challenge. I'm nervous because he keeps saying earn their spot in the house. I feel like whoever's no, left is out. No, seriously. Like, it's fucking go time. Gladys bitch won. What can I say? When people hear Lila, they know what the fuck that means. Oh, y'all got a bellhop. I've been first Australia, and now I'm in Turkey. Day one Maltese, I'm so fucking happy to be here. Known for doing the most unhinged shit. So I'm here to do more than that and be the best at it. Literally, 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 literally. Like, literally, I'm just, so fucking funny. If somebody cares about you, first of all, they're obsessed with you. Second of all, they want to fuck you. Third of all, they're mad they're not as confident as you. Hello? Hey. Oh, this is Taken? Yeah, me and Brad. Oh, you guys are bum buddies. Yeah. You and protein shake? <laughs> all right. I think the girls in the house are a little taken back. They're like, oh, this bitch left us. Like, what? In the end, fuck everything, fuck everyone. I'm here to leave top dog. 
waking up and seeing this beautiful, gorgeous view and being able to spy on like the snake little bitches talking shit. Lila just won the last challenge. She went upstairs and got a bed. And as you can see from all this luggage, we got six more contestants that are gonna be joining us in the driveway. All right, so this wouldn't be a content house without some sick ass cars pulling off, right? So we're gonna pull up one by one and you guys have to guess how much you think these cars are worth. Whoever is the farthest away will be eliminated from the round. No, you look too confident. I feel good about this one, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I got a good, you know, eye for it. All right, let's see. This is car number one. Let's see this puppy. Shit is fresh. Oh my God. All right, guys, this is car number one. So make sure you guys all write down how much you think it's worth. Reminder, the furthest one away is eliminated from the challenge. Are all of our answers locked in? Yeah. Yes. Noah, what's your guess? 550,000. Oh, what? Oh, fuck. Okay. This? <laughs> you lie. Brandon, what's your guess? <laughs> $99,999. Liz, what's yours? I said 200K. Blake, what do we got on this side? I said 85,000. Flakes, what you showing? $100,000. <laughs> OK, oh, OK, Natalia, how about you? I said $75,000. So we got a range of prices here. All over the board with this one. All right, guys, so the total value for car number one was $89,000. We had Blake being the closest. And the furthest away was Noah. <laughs> Let's bring in car number two. What is uh, that? All right, Brandon, what's your final answer? 125K. 53K. 165,000. 140,000. $150,000. So guys, the value of this car here is sitting at $212,000. So the closest again is Blake. Congratulations. Liz, you're out. I'll take your whiteboard. Let's get car number three in here. Oh, it's great. Hey. <laughs> oh, does she even have a license? <laughs> yes. Hey. Grace, is that you? Yeah, oh, dude, I'm here. <laughs> All right, let's guess this minivan with Grace in it. 63,500. 75,000. 55,000. 40,000. Hey, O'Malley, how much is this thing costing? Funny you should ask, Josh. This bad boy retails for $17,900. Okay. Seven, hey. Oh, Effie. 17000 Like teen? You guys are stupid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, we got Blake being the furthest away after winning two rounds in a row. Blake, I'm going to need that whiteboard. Fine. Thanks, Hands friend. Thank you. We're going to number four. That's sexy. Nice. Yeah. Damn. Okay, Brandon, what do we got? 301K. I said 190K. I said 200K. All right, this car is worth $180,000. <gasps> What's <the> up? <laughs> so, Brandon, you're out. We got my boy Flakes being the closest. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't want you guys cheating, so let's swap Brand Flakes with Brandon. All right, let's bring in car five. Oh my. Okay, that's crazy looking. All right, let's see everybody's answers. Brand Flakes, what do you got? 240,000. Okay. I put 400K. All right, guys, so the total price for car number five is $389,000. So Aaliyah wins. <laughs> Congratulations! God is good all the time! <laughs> <laughs> Brand Flakes, you're a loser with the rest of the squad. <laughs> all right, Aaliyah, you can go in the house and find yourself a bed. The rest of us are going to go to the next challenge. I'm sick. I'm sick. <laughs> Fuck those cars. Finally got my room! Hey guys, it's Aaliyah Inalu from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm here to represent the Peach State, period. I am an influencer slash fashion content creator I'm entertaining. I give the girls what they want. I would say I am like a whimsical, you know, eccentric fashion girly. Like, that's my whole essence. I love that. Ah! No, I'm gonna have to go with the pink room. Period. I'm gonna get this room. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh 
I chose the pink room across the street from Lila because I just love that girl so much and it was pink, that's my aura. I'm such a people person, so I don't think it would be hard for me to get along with anybody. Aaliyah won the last challenge and she got her bed. We got five people left, so let's bring them up on the roof and get one more room. Hey Grace, how you doing down there? Grace, what happened with the hammock? Oh, I fell off of it really bad. I really hurt, but the medic got me good. Hey, welcome to Project Verified. Oh no, I can't get up. Oh! You all right? I'll be fine. Okay, cool. Thanks, Grace. No problem. All right, guys, for this challenge, we're gonna be playing Word Scramble. There's a bunch of letters that have been hidden throughout the backyard. You guys need to find them all, spell out the word, and the first one to do so correctly and show me or Bree will go and get to pick a bedroom. Are you guys ready to go? Yes. All right, three, two, one, go! There's a fucking Y. Who looks the stupidest? Me. Anybody feeling confident at this point? Let's fucking go! Let's go! Wow, that was quick! Let's go! Wow. Let's go! That was fast! Let's go! That was fast! I didn't fast. Let's go. That fast either. Okay, so we're using context clues at a okay. Takis house? It, yes, it has to be something with Takis. It's not spice, intensity. Face the intensity. intensity. It was that it's easy. Brain. That's big oh, brain. Baby. Hell big yeah. Brain. Academic like that. weapon. Academic <laughs> weapon. Let's fucking go. Hey guys, I'm Brandon Brown. I'm 22 years old, I'm from Kentucky, and I'm here to fuck shit up. The best friend everyone wants, but not everyone can handle, bitch. The way I am online is the way I am in person. I'm not putting on a fucking show for anybody. What you see is what you get. I hate when people are like, Brandon, I wish I had your confidence. Babe, no you don't. It's not confidence, it's delusion. It's narcissism. Living in a house with strangers, that is not gonna phase me. You know, like, hit me with your best shot. If you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna be me. I was a little scared for a second because I don't know how many challengers there's left, um, but you know, we're good. We're off the hot seat. Look at this. It fits perfect. The blue on blue on blue. Ugh. I have a bed and those bitches don't. <laughs> so my strategy is to be teamed up with everyone, yet no one. The girls trust me, the guys trust me, the gays trust me. So I think I got all my bases covered and that's it. We're heading to the kitchen for one more person to secure their spot. Yes, chef! <laughs> Are any of you guys chefs? Yes, chef! Perfect. In this challenge, you're gonna have 10 minutes to cook the best grilled cheese sandwich for me and Brie that you can with a side of Takis. Go! Go, go, go! Oh, we got a shirt off already. Excuse me, Grace. I burned myself. Get out of here, come on. Can you pass that or fuck off? Noah's going in with the mayo. This is clutch. White people love mayo. Blake looks like she knows what she's doing. My dad was a chef. Fade a spatula, sorry. No, you fucking Ooh. can't. <laughs> Noah, you motherfucking <laughs> or motherfucking <laughs> Are you gonna take that? Whatever. Ooh, I'm feeling stats between Blake and Noah. Where the fuck is the spatula? See that flip? Ooh. That's a good flip. See that, that flip? flip? Ready? Ooh. Hey. Extra points. Little slutty. Did you just call it grilled cheese slutty, sir? Slutty as hell. Give her a slap. Liz started off strong, but I think she may have done too much. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Get your Wait plates down. out. All right, guys, so that's the end of the 10 minutes. Whatever's on your plate right now is what we're gonna be eating. So First up, we got Noah. What are you serving up for us? All right, look, I got a three cheese blend. Then for the side, I have sliced bell pepper, cream cheese, and Takis. Cheers. Hear that crunch? Whoa. Hear that crunch? You could've used a little more butter. No butter, mayo. That's the trick. Mmm, maybe you could've used butter. Sure. <laughs> Sandwich I number two. Made the very simple, less is more grilled cheese. It's actually really fucking good, isn't it? Next we got Blake. Um, listen, I'm not trying to give you some pompous, keto-looking bullshit. A grilled cheese is what your mom makes for you, what you have when you're drunk, when you don't have money. I really like the crust on this one. Save the best for last. 
I hate tomatoes. Oh. Yeah. It's your biggest but time. You're going to have to be on bias. I know. I'm going to have to. I'm going to take a bite where there's no tomatoes. What are you thinking? My cheese isn't cooked at all. I'm thinking I don't want another bite. Liz, I hate to say it. The cheese just wasn't melted through all the way. Too much cheese. Third place? Brandon. There was too much butter. Gotta give second place to Blake. You had a great sandwich, but the interior with the cheese not being melted really just did it for us. Ugh. Noah, that means you're the winner of this challenge. Congratulations, chef. You had melted cheese. I love the creativity with the side. Blake has something to say. I just think it's a little bit bullshit. His doesn't look that great. All right, Noah, you're good. You can go upstairs and pick out your bedroom. And the three that are left, you're gonna be sticking with us. Chefs, you are big, fat losers. Would you like to help me clean up the kitchen? No. 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 And that is why you lost. Let's go. What's going on, guys? I'm Noah, I'm 26. I'm coming here from Manhattan. I'm an onion because there's layers to it. I don't think I'm gonna be surviving in the house. I think I'm gonna be thriving in the house. Let's get this fucking party started. This room is sick. It's perfect with everything. Like, come on. This is fire. I'm going to be, you know, writing the script in my own way. But I'm going to be hearing about shit that's going on, and I'm going to take that and benefit myself. You know, I'm trying to get that bag at the end of the day. Not afraid to make some enemies along the way if I have to, but also here to make some friends. What's up, motherfucker? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Hey! Hey! Please, girl! It's not. Yeah. It's good. Try it. Just try it. It's, a, it's like a popper. What is the other thing? Oh, like? fuck yeah. Keto my ass, Blake. She was talking hella shit to me the whole time, calling it keto ass dish, this, that, the other thing. I can't believe a green bell pepper with cream cheese and Takis stuck into it beat me. You could feel the tension in the room, bro. I wish you guys could have seen it. All day, Blake has been chirping me, but now it's her time to get it. I'm scared. What was that? Josh and Brie announced that there was 15 minutes for the three that are up for elimination. And they're all coming in one by one, pulling me in and out of rooms, trying to plead their case. How are you? Oh my God, I'm freaking out out don't there. Worry, don't worry, don't it's worry. There's so much going on. Fine. Liz definitely has a lot of friends in the house. She's very close with Lila and the guys all love her. I fucking miss you so much. Liz and Lila. When you, Liz and Lila, when you fucking click, you click. Hot Liz is definitely my number one top girl at the house so far. I feel like we've been best friends since like preschool. Oh. Hi boy. Yes. Let's, Liz, let's go in here. Liz came up, hugged both me and Connor. You know, she's a sweetheart. Dude, Liz, like, she's hot Liz for a reason, and she's just really fucking cool. Liz. They all want to fuck Liz. They're not taking her off. So the only thing I can do is make them choose me over Bran. I just had beef with Blake, so it has to be her. I feel, for the first time in this game, a little bit of relief because Blake just threw a fucking fit in the kitchen, and I know that she pissed Noah off, and where was Noah the past 30 minutes? Upstairs, and I knew that she put a target on her back. It's this challenge, and... It's just fresh on my mind. Yeah, what happened? I didn't hear like, what happened. Like, was there was it? just a lot of the tension you could cut with a knife, like I cut my beautifully crusted with mayo grilled cheese, <laughs> and... Your cheese was so much better than mine. Oh, no, 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 no. My last name is Jealous, because I'm jealous of you, Noah. Flakes. Hi. Yeah. I can tell you something right now. Okay, what? She's begging on her fucking knees over there. Jesus fucking Christ. Flakes in the other room on her knees in front of the guys begging to stay in the house. That's pathetic. I literally said, get up. <laughs> I literally, you know, it was so funny. Oh, Brad, there's Brad. Brad, get the fuck in here. You guys have a lot more followers than me. You're making your dreams, but you have a fucking restaurant. I know you're doing good. I know you're doing good from what you were talking about. I kind of came out here a year and a half ago. You know what I mean? Even if I don't win, I want to stay on the show to jumpstart my career, give myself more opportunities. This has a lot of followers and shit too, so does Brand. She went to the final. Yeah. I don't know how badass would be if the final whatever. It would say. Duh. I mean, girl, women have to come out on top always. I know. 
I mean, it's feminism at this point. I love that we're starting to get a little bit of drama going on. Blake, she definitely knows what she's doing. I can tell she's being very strategic with who she's talking to, what she's telling people, how open and honest she's being with people. I'm hearing chips and chirps and mumblings that Blake is throwing out the girl card, that she wants girls to stay. She's telling people, hey, I don't have a following outside of this. So at this point, I don't trust Blake anymore. Hi. Do you have my back? Philly boys for life. You have my back? You're gonna vote me out? Uh, really? You're safe, Brandon. <gasps> You're good. I got you, brother. Just I mean, again, I know. but... Hey, I yo, think... yo, listen to me, listen to me. Because you're here, I know. please start just believing in yourself, yeah. okay? This woke me up, seriously. So, no, actually, Thank start you. fucking believing in yourself. I got you. I love you. Thank you so much. You're the best. Thank you. Yep. Thank you're you. safe. You got me. Yeah. You didn't even have to explain anything. Uh, you're good. Thank you. <sighs> it's literally a mindset. And I'm not, it's not cliche. Like, I mean, it kind of sounds cliche, but it's literally all in your mind. Your mind is extremely powerful. So if Brandon just has this mindset, like, yo, I can, I will, I fucking must do it, like, he fucking will. I always <laughs> myself. Be flakes. I love you guys. <laughs> Listen, You're, you would be dumb to tell me out. I'm not a threat. I can't swim. <laughs> I can't. Stop. I can't right, swim. You sold me. You sold me. Let's go over. I can't swim. I can't spell. I can't gas cars. I can't cook a fucking grilled cheese. Don't vote me off unless you're trying to ruin your chance. Strategically, I knew at the end of the day I would have to vote Bran out. I didn't want to, but I would have to. Liz was not going home. There was no way in hell that was happening. I talked to the boys for two seconds. I know I'm not going home. I'm kind of accepting that there's a very real possibility I'm going home. Three, Three two, two, one, done! That's the time. Now we're gonna go downstairs and you guys will give us your votes. All right, you guys had your 15 minutes to deliberate. There's three people, we have two beds. The whole house is gonna decide on one person to go home. Three people left, we got Hot Liz, we got Blake, and Bran Flakes. Everybody's voting, you can't vote for yourself, and you're gonna be texting in your submissions. Text in your vote, and let's figure out who's getting eliminated from the show. Okay, so all of the votes are in, and we're gonna read them off one by one, and we will be revealing who voted for who. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> it's a talkie's twist. Yeah, no one's safe. No. Okay, so the first vote is from Liz, and she voted for Blake. Girl first girl. Some girl on girl violence. <laughs> the second vote was done by Blake, and Blake voted for Brandon. Ooh. Third vote is from Bran Flakes, and he voted for Blake. We have two votes for Blake and one vote for Bran Flakes. Next vote was from Brad. And Brad voted for Blake. So now we're sitting at three votes for Blake and one vote for Brandon. Next vote is in. It's from Lila, and she voted for Blake. All right, so at this point, we essentially need every vote to be for Brandon, for Blake, you to be staying in the house. And with our next vote, Brandon be voted for Blake. Yeah. <laughs> By me, of all people. Sorry, Blake. Yeah, no, I just saw that coming. So that means, Blake, unfortunately, you're going home tonight. Yeah. So to end off with the last three votes, we had Aaliyah, Connor, and Noah. We hadn't read off their votes yet. And all three of those people voted for Blake. Yep. Do you have anything to say, Blake? I don't hate anybody. Like, you're all great people. I had a great time in this house. And I understand why. I just wish I could do it over again. That's fair. Very fair. Yeah, mad respect. So, Blake, that is it for you on this show. You're now kicked out of the house. And we actually have Grace O'Malley here to bring you out. Escort so. you on out. Come on, miss. Come on, Grace, let's go get drunk. Here we go, let's do this. I have to Bye, stay Blake. here. Okay. Put a quarter in your ass because you played yourself. Bye, baby gorgeous. Bye, Blake. I'm gonna go home and be sad and then be okay. It's life. One door, what's the saying? One door closes, another door opens, right? I'm in LA, I'm here living my dream. I just gotta keep on trucking. The fuck says keep on trucking? All right, 
right, well, the eight of you guys, congratulations. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Made it on to day two of Project Verified. So all of you can go into the house, relax, get to know each other, and have some fun. Let's fucking go, Brandon! Okay, protein shake. All right, that was a crazy fucking day. We eliminated two people right off the rip. I mean, the people that are out there right now are thinking they're sitting pretty, but they have no idea what's coming tomorrow. There's gonna be a lot of talky twists. So, on to day two. See ya. Peace. They should all be really scared. There are some fake people in this house. I'm a good guy, but am I? In the end, fuck everything, fuck everyone. She has everyone wrapped around her finger. I'm not fucking leaving. What? I am jaw dropped.